Hi, it's Linda from Linda Learns to Color. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Today's a Sunday and I'm really hoping to get this video up. It's going to be a haul video. I haven't done a video in two weeks. Can you believe that? It's just been, I just haven't, I haven't had a chance with a little guy, um, little Toby. And today after church, um, we went to lunch at Wendy's and then we came home and my son said he would take the little the little man for a little while. So I'm like, oh great, I can um, make a video. And I really missed it and I feel out of practice. <laughs> Not that my videos are that great quality to begin with, but yeah, so how are y'all doing today? I hope y'all are doing fine and I will kind of maybe do a little updates throughout the video as I remember things. So yeah, so it's just um, I have, uh, me and one of my, no, two of my boys are home right now. My husband had to work, um, poor thing has been working. Oh, he hasn't had a day off in over a, a month. So, you know, people just keep calling in, calling in. And then, you know, when you are the owner, you gotta take their place. And it seems like a lot of these young folks don't understand that they actually need to work to earn their money. So it's just crazy. Yes, but that's a whole other story. So I guess I'll go ahead and start with the supplies. I really don't have that much today, so maybe I might be a little bit more chatty today. But I got these markers that came in today from Ohuhu, and I actually did this video once before, but it kind of cut off in the middle, and so it was like not this past Friday, but the Friday before I actually tried to make a video, my haul video. But yeah, that didn't work out, so anyway. So I got these Ohuhu markers and you know, I totally forgot that I ordered these. I put them on subscribe and save. I think I saw somebody in their haul with these and I thought, ooh, those would be great for my color by number books. But, um, so I put them on subscribe and save cause you know, I didn't want to pay for them right away, but I had totally forgot about them. And I actually had time to swatch these. I don't even know how or when, but I, I did. So this is, and I don't know what the difference is, like why they, I mean, they don't say like one's not um, pastels and the other is bold or anything like that. At least not that I could tell. But in the one with the girl on the cover, and it's more pinkish, it has these colors. And so right here, I use the blender because you know how the blender is supposed to be kind of like an eraser, I guess, type thing. And I was just trying that out. So that is this one, and then they look like, and here's all the beautiful colors. So the 13 year old, um, he has left, he's stayed with us for almost six weeks. Uh, if it would have been a few more days, it would have been six weeks. And there's that. This is the chisel side. And they're pretty small, I don't have another Oh, actually I do have another marker to compare them with, but I haven't shown you those yet, they're brand new. So that's this one. And then here is the other. Here's all the beautiful colors in this one. So let me put this here so I don't get them mixed up. So here's how they, all the colors in both of them. So there's a lot of grays. Um, but they all have different numbers, so and here's what this one looks like. So yeah, the only thing is they are smaller, which is great. That's why I got them, but um, they're not the brush, which I also got them because they weren't the brush uh, tip, but I kind of, with the uh, color by number books, I kind of do like the the brush tip after all I found, but this will be great for the smaller spaces. But if it's a bigger space, then I will just reach for my Ohuhu's, the the regular size ones, cause just easier to color all that in the space. So I got that. And then speaking of another marker size, I have been on the search for a good refillable marker. Um, and I, I can't afford Copics, at least not now. Maybe one day I'll be able to afford them. But spending that much money on markers, I just can't do it right now. 
So I looked at other brands and I finally just went with the Blick ones. Um, Jennifer stay over at Coloring Bliss. She seems to really like them. And so I just thought I would just, I'll just go ahead with these ones. So it's 144 markers and they're studio brush markers. They come in this nice box and this is what they look like. There was actually a piece of, um, um, you know how it looks like the box, but it's a piece of cardboard that comes off of it. And I had it in my video when I tried it for the first time, but then I threw it away. <laughs> So I didn't want to keep saving it. But anyway, so it's um, brush tip, chisel tip, and then these are all the colors right there. Lots of beautiful colors. And they were 55% off. So I thought I would just go ahead and get them. This is probably one of my last like big purchases. So I wanted to make sure I got the markers. because I had been eyeing these for months. And it has this foam on the top to keep everything in place although they see pretty like they're not going anywhere so what I am going to do is I am going to store them this way and then when I use them I'll just put them back up since markers from my understanding are supposed to be stored like this so this is how it looks there's the blick and there's the uh, the brush And I haven't really used them. In fact, I haven't even swatched these yet. I've been wanting to, but I just haven't had a chance. So, and uh, Coloring Bliss has a chart, um, a color chart that has these in a different order than what they are in here. I haven't changed how they came um, because I wasn't sure if they're doing anything like light, medium, or dark. So do you know if there's a reason with how they put these markers in here? If you do, please let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate it. If it's no, um, if it's not anything like a light, medium, dark, then I'll, I might switch them to how Coloring Bliss has them because she pretty much puts everything in a nice color order. So there's so many grays though, but oh well. So yes, if you have these, let me know how you like them. I've heard great things and I've heard other people say they don't like them. So I guess it's just like it with everything. But after doing all my research and trying to figure out what markers, I wasn't going to get the Copic. These to me were um, a, the next best thing. So, And then I got these Color Color 50 piece Macaron, is that how you say that? Colored pencil, Soft Touch Premium Expert. The tin's a little bit bent right here or is that the way it's supposed to be I think it might be um bent oh my goodness and you're not gonna believe what I did to my two of my pencils oh my goodness yes yeah, I wasn't paying attention you know I was watching Toby and trying to at least sharpen my pencils so I can get this watching done at midnight because I have been uh putting Toby down. He doesn't go down by himself. So he either has to have me or my husband because we don't have a crib for him. We had bought a pack and play, but he crawls out of it. So, um, so he's been sleeping with us. And, um, so, so basically he just doesn't go down by himself. So we put him down and then I'll, if it was, if it was me, I'll just get back out of bed. And then around from 1130 or so, I just, that's when I'm starting to get a little bit back into my coloring and diamond painting. I haven't done a whole lot, but I do want to swatch these at night, but I don't like to have to, um, you know, the sharpener is loud. So anyway, all I have to say, I was trying to sharpen these and I still haven't got around to finishing, but you're not going to believe what I did to my pencils. So here's the swatch chart and I got this far and then I'm finished. I got to finish sharpening the rest of the pencils. I think I, I guess I might've done that. They look sharpened. So I just got to finish swatching them and oh my goodness, wait till you see what I did. Do you notice anything about my beautiful pencils? Do you see anything? Oh, it's so sad. Let me take my glasses off. Look what I did and I not did it once but twice to my beautiful pencil. I put the wrong end in the sharpener. My poor pencil. But oh wow, what are you going to do? What's done is done, right? So these are the beautiful colors. 
this one was actually on the bottom but I think because my tin is a little bit I can't tell I'm having a hard time fitting all my pencils in so I think this one was actually on the bottom because it has these little stringy things and then this one was on the top but I finished swatching these ones aren't they so beautiful so I had put these ones on the bottom because I swatched them already and I wasn't going to get these, but they were on sale. They were, well, I don't, yeah, I think they were because I paid like $18 for them. So I just went ahead and got them. So it has the name, the number, the brand, and it looks beautiful. It has the gold right here. And I'll show you the tin. It's so pretty in pink. That's why I wanted the tin too. Although it's, it's, I'm pretty sure it's bent right there. Anyway, so my, um, my tripod is right here, so I can't really, I mean, I could do it upside down, but those are all the colors. In the back of the tin, I'll just go like that in case you want to read it. You can pause that. So, let's see. Yeah, so I cannot believe I did that. So again, this one's actually on top. And these pinchy things are really nice because you could actually grab them. But my tin, I believe, is a little bit... I think it's a little bit crushed or something because I have a hard time putting these back in. Let me get it all... Let me get my glasses back on. Oh yeah, they actually all went in this time. And I was having a problem with one of these not fitting in there. Oh my gosh, it's just so sad, you guys. So, so sad. So I got these. And I think that is it for my supplies. Now is to go on to the coloring books. I feel like I'm missing something, but I actually haven't bought that much since I've had Toby. I haven't colored. I actually did two pages, but it took me two months. And I'm almost done with one small diamond painting that was sent to me to do it's a budget diamond painting so i will share that when i'm done because i'm almost there but i've been staying up till like 2 30 in the morning to get that that stuff done okay so let me grab my coloring books i'm gonna move my um can't see it but i'm gonna be moving my, i'm gonna move my blick markers over put my coloring books right here okay so this is just a little super thin it has stickers and activity pad I got this at the dollar store and I just thought some of them were cute. And I mean, it's, the paper is super thin, so yeah, you could see the other image. But I just thought it had some cute things in it. Maybe I could just get some markers and yeah, we'll see. So I got that. And then also at the dollar store, which this was $3, I got the sweet treats. And it has lots of yummies in it. Oh, I should do this one for my hubby. And just lots of yummies. So I couldn't leave that one behind. And then I was at Barnes & Noble. And I was looking for some... I'll take the, this out because it has like the address on it. I was looking for anything for some coloring books on sale. And this was the only one that I liked. This was $8. I don't know how much it is regular price. It doesn't really, at least I don't see anything. But I thought it was really pretty. Look at, look how gorgeous this is. Then it has a little bit about the owl, the hair. So yeah. I just thought it was so pretty. I was going to leave it behind at first because it was $8, but I'm like, no, $8 is such a good price for all these beautiful illustrations in here. So, isn't that just gorgeous? So, we've had little Toby for about two months now, almost two months. And uh, we're probably going to have him for another two months. I don't know how long we're going to have him. So... I'm so goofy. How could I have two of these? 
when my um, book came I'm like oh wow there's two so I looked on on Amazon and I pre-ordered one on February and then I pre-ordered one in June so because I'm so you know with it you know so I got two which I don't mind I was actually probably gonna buy another one anyway because you know me I need to have two of everything because um, I am so afraid to color in my books but I love this book I've I actually did get to a chance to sit down and look through it all. And I really like it. This is a great page to practice coloring clothing. So I got two of those. And then at half price, I found this book. It's, I'm, I mean, I think it's almost the same price that it is on Amazon, but I just went ahead and got it. Because I think on Amazon, it seems to be on sale a lot. And it does have a, one or two coloring pages done in here, but isn't this so gorgeous? But I actually like it because it just kind of gave me or showed me that you don't have to. I mean, look it. So I like it. I think they did a great job, but yet, you know, they didn't do a whole lot of shading and all that. I could see some of it, but yeah, I like it. So, but if I had, would have done this, I would have, I would probably be like, oh, I don't like it. But so this just kind of gave me, it just showed me that you don't have to do a whole lot for it to look pretty. Um, cause it looks pretty and see how they did like a little bit of shading here and right there. So, and I like it. And of course I never expect mine to look like this and I don't, I mean, and that's not my goal with these, but that having that one color like that just was very encouraging to me. So, I love the images in here. I have been wanting to get this one, so I thought, well, I'll just get it, even though it's on Amazon for the same price, but at least I could support my local bookstore. And I did get another one at half price. I got this one, the High Seas. 40 ocean themed designs. I like all the ships in here. You can see there's an octopus. And I love this one with the bottle. And oh, I love this side too. Lots of beautiful images. In fact, the captain's in here as well. He's in here too. And then I also got this at half price. This is two books in one. It's the Owl and the cat one. And I do think I have this owl one. I don't know if there's two owl that they have, but I I don't know. I know I would have one owl, but I don't know if it's this book. But I love the owls. And I'm not a huge cat fan, but I do like cats. Just I just don't want to own one. But um I think they're so cute, especially in coloring books. And if you have a cat, you know, I totally love that they're yours. <laughs> And so, yeah, my dad has a cat. My sister has a cat, so. But, yeah. So, I like cats. I just don't want one. They're so cute. So, I got that. And then I got... Um, this one was sent to me by Sally Berry. And I did a flip through on this one on my channel. And it's so cute. Look at this pumpkin pie. So many cute images in this one so I got that and I also got another one but I think I, somehow I left it in the living room it was called vintage tattoos and I also have a flip through of that one on my channel as well and this one um, was on sale I don't know if it's still on sale now because you get the emails when they first come out with the books and they have them on sale for $4.99 and they go up to $7.99 and I actually started this page with my Ohuhu markers, with these. I didn't like swatch these out. I just grabbed my book and I grabbed one of these. I don't even know which one I grabbed. And I just took out what looked closest to the color they're asking. So, yeah, I didn't, normally I would like to swatch and have a set for this book, but I didn't do that. I should have put the date when I did that. So it's really cute. I really wanted to do more in here. I was hoping to do like a page, I don't know, every other day or something. These are the bonus ones. 
and I would like to get some of these ones as well. Not too much that one. That one's cute, but I would like to get some of those fall and autumn ones. So that is that one. And then I also got this one, the stained glass patterns. Oh, this would be fun. See, so my markers that I got, those smaller Ohuhu ones, like this part, would I would use a brush. Or even on her face, I would use one of my other Ohuhu brush tip ones because it seems like there's a lot of space and it's just not as easy to get it to get it all because then you get those lines I want to do that tree and then I got this one this one was on sale as well this is so cute the gingerbread sleeping beauty Pinocchio and Aladdin so that'll be fun and then I got Hello Country Fall from Joshua Dunbar. And I went ahead and just got Hello Country Spring as well. So this one I think was $7.99 and this one was on sale for $4.99 I think or $5.99. So I just really love these pages. They're so beautiful. And then Country Spring. These are gorgeous. I guess those are water drops. That would be fun to practice water drops. I gotta find some videos. Hey, that looks like something similar in this one. Let's see. I thought I saw a deer. It could be that I just looked through these not too long ago. And I'm, oh, look it. So this one has like a bird, a butterfly. This one has some mushrooms, a squirrel, more fallish, a snail. Oh, that's pretty neat. I wonder if it has that fox at the end. Oh, look, at there's the fox in that one. And I saw a fox at the end of this one. Where did it go? Oh, maybe it was, maybe it was the same fox. You know how he gives extra pages. Okay, maybe I didn't see a fox, but I thought I did. There's a cow. Well, I guess I didn't. Okay, now that I've gone through the whole thing. Oh well, I guess I didn't see a box. But anyway, those are those two. And then I saw this, I think I saw this on two channels. I think um, Coloring Pirate, if, I'm, if I got the name correctly, and on Pixie's projects. I think I've seen this one. And it actually was on my wish list too, but since I saw them on their channels, I said, oh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and get it. And here's the author. Tanya Bogima. Am I saying that correctly? I have some of her other books, as I know many of you do as well. Then they're so cute with a pumpkin little house coming out of it. Some trick-or-treaters. Yeah, so funny. It's such a cute one. So I got that. I'm almost done, actually. And then I ordered this one. It was on sale for like around $11. And I saw this on um, Pirate Coloring or Coloring Pilot. I'm so sorry. I forgot the um, the actual name. But I will link it down below. And then again, and then I saw this for $6 and something cents at half price. But I had already ordered it, so I didn't get it at half price. And I had read the Lunar Chronicles. It's a series. But I read it so fast that I need to go back and read them again. Because I'm, I'm looking at the pages and I don't remember a lot of it. I haven't even read this side. I'm sure once I read it on this side that I'll remember. But yeah, that was when I, um, it was a few years ago too that I read them all. There's actually another one. Um, there's Ferris, and I believe there's another one that's in Kindle only, and it goes a little bit deeper with each of, with some of the characters, but they're on Kindle only, and they're like 40 pages or something like that, 40 to 70 pages, so I got that, and then at half price, oh no, this was at a thrift store, I got little Susie's Zoo, 
I used to love Susie Zoo when I was little or younger. Isn't that so cute? I figure I could copy these. I know that this might come through, but I'm figuring when I color it, um, hopefully it won't show up, but they're just so cute. Look at that. So, yeah, I thought these would be cute to copy. Yeah, it's such a bummer that the paper is so thin that you could see so much of the other image. But again, hopefully when I color it, it won't come through so much. So we'll see. It's only a dollar. And then from Dover, I got this for a dollar. And there's the illustrator. I figure for a dollar, if I don't like all the page pages, I could, there's enough in there. Even if it's just one page I liked. You know, it's only a buck. And then I also got this for a dollar, which this page is colored in here. It's right here. But I think all the other ones are not colored. And I got this for a dollar as well. So, couldn't beat that. This was actually on my wish list. Although I really wanted the giraffe. But I do have an image of the giraffe. Because I'm actually coloring it as well. But I need to find the book that I'm coloring it in. Because it's a teach. they're teaching you how to color. And I... I never finished it. And then another book at half price is I got the Enchanted Islands. A Zen Doodle one. And I love this one. How it has the borders. And it just has, look at that, so pretty. Froggies. So yeah, I thought this one was really nice. Especially for $6.99. And then, it's not a coloring book, but I got this sourdough cookbook. My sourdough starter's probably dead because it's been in the fridge for half a year now without me feeding it. But I got this because I don't have, that way I don't have to keep looking online for sourdough, um, how to use my starter. Because, you know, you feed it and you end up with so much and you don't want to always make bread. And this has so many different things you could make. So like if I wanted to make biscuits, it's in here. I don't have to go searching online and then print it or have my iPad and all that. I mean, look at there's oatmeal and whole wheat bread. There's um, easy pumpkin loaves. Look at half a cup of sourdough starter. I love that. There's biscuits in here, apple nut muffins, date muffins, biscuits. There's all kinds of things you could use your starter with. Look at cinnamon syrup. That's interesting. I guess that doesn't use your starter in that. But, um, yeah, so I just have, look at, you could use, like, orange cupcakes, pineapple coffee cake, sourdough pizza. You get to use your, there's so many recipes in here to use your starter. So that way when I start my starter up again, whether it's still alive or I need to buy some, I'll have some recipes because that was my problem. And then you don't want to waste it by throwing it out. You want to use it. And I only had a few, um, I had like pancakes or waffles I would make with it if I did, wasn't making bread all the time. So, um, so yeah, so I got that. Oh, I almost forgot. I got fairies in colored pencils. Learn to draw in imaginative fairies in vibrant color. So I got this. I think I saw it on um, Colorful Pirates channel. I'm pretty sure it was her channel. So I really liked it. And guess what happened? I don't know. This was on my desk. And the next morning, I woke up and it was all wet up here. I don't know if you could see it on camera, but it's like all right here. I don't know what happened. Nobody knows. It's the not me ghost. It's the strangest thing. But, you know, I didn't get all upset. I don't, those kind of things just don't upset me anymore. As I'm getting older. Not like when I was younger. I probably would have been so upset and sad. <laughs> but, you know, I don't like that it's there, but oh well. So I got my little blow dryer thingy out, the one that you use for your crafts, and just kind of went through it all. So it doesn't look the greatest, but oh well. So that was really sad, but it is what it is. And so I love it because they just kind of help you with pellets. Um, I don't, or at least not now, I don't, I'm not into like drawing all this, but I like how they kind of go over the steps with you and I can learn and it's just so beautiful. Just, just even looking at all of these. It's so pretty. And one of the authors. Who is the author of this? Sarah. 
I think it's hers. I got a, one, of, uh, one of her fairies in diamond painting. I just love it. I think that's the, the um, artist of it. When I was looking at Amazon, there were other books, and I saw the diamond painting on there, and I was like, oh, wow. So, yeah, so that is my haul. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, in the comments, let me know how you, you're doing and what you're working on, and if you have any of these coloring books. And, yeah, so just, just um, I've missed you all that I'm not here regularly anymore. It's been, like, almost two weeks, I think, since I put up a video. So... Anyway, I just wanted to pop in and let you see my haul. And then hopefully my next video, I will share um, what two pages <laughs> I completed in the last two months. Crazy, I know. But so anyway, remember to live a life filled with color. It's so much prettier that way. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.